Okay. Yo, what's up, Funky Fam? Today's spicy brand new off meta deck is gonna be a big demon demon hunter. And yes, I am wearing a hoodie because I am freezing. Now, honestly, I did not expect this deck to work at all. I thought it was gonna be a meme, but we accidentally went nine and one with this deck. We almost went 100% win rate and our only loss was to a bomb warrior just getting super unlucky and drawing three bombs in a row. So this deck is actually really strong. Now it is a slower deck, so we aim to get to, you know, turn seven, eight, nine with the deck. So we're using a soul fragment package in here. So the first half of the deck is gonna look very similar to like the soul demon hunter. We have to use that soul fragment package because there's just so much healing with the soul fragments and especially the combined healing of the war blades with the lapidary is just absolutely insane that you pretty much have to go that route. But our win condition is a little bit different than the traditional soul demon hunter. Soul demon hunter pretty much only smacks you in the face and that's about it but our late game we're gonna be smacking our opponent with some big demons raging fell screamer is a great minion to set all this up too we're gonna discount all of our big minions by two so we can go raging fell screamer into priestess of fury and oftentimes that wins games or even just being able to slam down a seven mana ancient void hunter pit commander can also win games on the spot if your opponent doesn't have an answer for it. Yeah, I am absolutely in love with this deck. There's just something about playing some huge minions that I just love. So I hope you guys like it as well. But if you do, let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section. And also hit that like button because it does help me out in the YouTube algorithm. And while you're down there, hit that big red subscribe button if you want to catch future off meta decks just like this one. I do also stream all of these decks live Monday through Friday on Twitch. And the link for that is going to be down below in the description. But for now, let's get into some gameplay. Stay funky. Um, Soul Shear, I guess, is good against a Aldor Attendant, potentially. I mean, Twin Slice is always good, right? Just so versatile. Maybe keep these. That's how all matchups were meant to be played. Smork. Me no make decisions. Me go face. <laughs> Which card do I play? Face card or other face card? <laughs> I wait. Yeah, there's the Eldar. Probably trying to see if you got anything better from the uh, from the first day. Yeah, let's just punch there, just in case. Kind of like the uh, what a couple matchups ago, he did like what hit of a doll into hand of a doll. We were able to kill it over three, two turns just by punching. This does three damage. This does three damage. Double hand would put, up, put it up to six. If he doesn't have hands, that's good. I'm still gonna soul shear the Aldor Attendant because if he does hand of a dollar top deck it, um, my shard shatter still clears. I don't really care too much about taking damage. I got hooked up to watch Twitch with Regis's meme decks. Then I built a horrible res priest. <laughs> Managed to push up a lot the last couple of months. Hey, there you go, there you go. You know, honestly, like a resurrect priest isn't all that bad compared to, uh, compared to other priest decks these days, like thief priest. I know like way back when people used to hate on Resurrect Priest, but at least they won and played with cards that started in their deck, right? You know, I, I feel like people just hate losing to cards that don't start in your opponent's decks. Um, oh, gross. What if I just Fell Screamer? Um, yeah, let's Fell Screamer. Get ready for a uh, Priestess here. Actually, you know what though? Yeah, let's hit there. Make sure he doesn't take advantage of the spell burst. Um, if all he does is play his Alter Truth Seeker, we can deal with that quite easily. That's fine. If he wants to play a Lightforge Zealot and then punch into here, that's okay too. We'll probably go into like Imprison Antean or something. Actually, I could go like uh, Priestess this turn and then Antean next turn. Yeah, let's do that. This Priestess most likely will kill the Zealot, right? Hopefully. 
maybe. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was actually worried there for a second. <laughs> so now this is kind of awkward. Like, four attack into a five health. Pretty awkward. I fail miserably every single time I'm in arena. <laughs> Dude, it, it's tough. It's tough. Especially nowadays, too. Yeah. Like, I would probably fail miserably nowadays, too. Oh my gosh, we're doing it. I could consume this. Nah. No need. Okay, so make that trade there. He still suspend mana on killing this. We still get a push, six damage face. Yo, thank you so much, Noodle. And uh, welcome to the Funky Fan Board. Welcome back. Oh my goodness. Oh man, let me hype that up. Woohoo, let's go. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Yeah, let's Void Hunt here. Uh, yep. Let's see if he has Libram of Justice. <laughs> I hate losing to cards that yell hey loser at me <laughs> oh no there's the justice oh wow he actually has to punch though <gasps> oh man oh we just have lethal <laughs> that's right because he burned his consecration earlier so he can't do like justice plus consecration oh my gosh oh my gosh Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> um, I like Marrow Slicer here. Panthara is a good turn three play. Uh, against Druid, I want to be super, super aggressive. So yeah, I like these two. Um, but yeah, speaking of which as well, um, tomorrow we have a lot of new people here. So tomorrow is Funky Friday. Best day of the week. That's where I play all of your guys' decks. So if you guys have any crazy, funky homebrew decks that you guys have been working on yourself, you can submit them in the Discord channel under Funky Friday. But yeah, we see, we see some pretty funky, crazy decks. It's always a good time. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> no. Hmm, I might coin here. I might like coin a Panthara. Like what else am I doing? Okay, coin Panthara and then we hero power Panthara again. Going into a Marrow Slicer on four, into a Lapidary on five. Okay. I might want to save this Blade Dance for his uh, Guardian Animals though. But he's not going to be able to, to do that for three turns. I could have also done the Shadow Weaver if I didn't want to draw. Actually, maybe that was better. Yeah, I get a better minion on the board. Wow, that, that takes some guts right there. <laughs> yeah, that's super hard. When he started doing Pen Flinger plus Wisdom plus like Wild Pyro stuff. Yeah, you got to be like... <laughs> Light speed fingers. Yeah, let's do that. See if we can push some damage here. But oh man, a, a fell screamer into a priestess. That was. Hmm. I guess I do hit here. Because yeah, if he does want to innervate out of guardian animals, um, then he has to like attack into here. Yeah. Still want to keep this for guardian animals. So I guess next turn, what am I doing? Like, oh man, I could lapidary, but. Ah, this just pushes so much damage. Nine damage, like, that's so much damage. If he guardian animals, whatever. <laughs> I mean, we got enough stuff in hand to deal with the guardian animals, so. Okay, no guardian animals, interesting. Interesting. He's got garbage in hand then, huh? So let's maybe like Fell Screamer next turn. So that way we can go on to a uh, Void Hound on turn seven. That's going to be like game over right there. Against a Druid? Yeah. I have no way of dealing with that. Let's 
Something like this. Soul Shear might be useful eventually. I didn't help destroy this deck. Hype! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you helped make it better, Matt. No, this is this is what we needed. The internal struggle between a song request and saving for VIP. Oof. The struggle. First world problems. <laughs> okay. Do I void hounds? Do I void hound? I mean, this is. He already used one guardian animals. Maybe he doesn't have another. I don't know. This is just so good, though. Whatever. YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. How does he deal with the 12-12? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. They do have this blade dance, which can kill these guys. I do play on the phone because my computer is too slow. Wow, your phone is, is more powerful than your computer. I do like playing mobile games or like Hearthstone sometimes, like... When I'm taking a poop. <laughs> you know, get, get a game in. You know, maybe a game of Battlegrounds or something while you're pooping. You know. <laughs> um, Alright, so we don't necessarily need the lifesteal here. I want to get a big blade dance in. Six, and then I guess I could kill the Osera here. Just to make sure he doesn't have anything that, like, lives through, like, a survival. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, I guess I could have uh, let it live. It would have been a, what, a 3-5 minion? And then I get a push, push 6 damage face. But, I mean, next turn we just have lethal anyways. Right? So, even if, like, even if he kills, like, a 5-5 five, five here. You know, we have the Warblades plus a hero power. So, that's enough to, to have lethal. And yeah, he's getting desperate. He's looking for, like, a taunt dragon through his portal. So, he's desperate. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Boom! What are we, 6 and 0 with this now? Alright, alright. Ugh, gross. I mean, Blade Dance is kind of cool with like Sorcerer's Apprentices and whatnot, but. Ugh. Ugh. Is this a new meta breaker? I don't know. It might be. I mean, 100% win rate so far. Oh. Well, we jinxed it. <laughs> what is this hand? Okay, if we can win with this hand, then yes, it is an absolute meta breaker. Oh my gosh, this is this is not what you what you want to see. Okay, I mean, all right, we're top decking a pretty good curve. Our top decks are saving us. <laughs> Oof. Feels bad. <laughs> oh no, you have 22 bananas left. Oh no, King Cobra. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, yeah, with this hand, I think I want to trade. I don't know. It's like, ugh. What an absolute poop hand here. <laughs> I mean, if, if we can survive to some of this big stuff, you know, I, I think we'll be okay. And then we don't necessarily need life steal um, against a mage either. Let's see if it's an ice barrier. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Actually, ice barrier against a demon hunter. All right. Touche, touche. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, all right. So we do have some plays next turn now. All right. So we might be able to, you know, work with this hand. Be mana burn next turn with like a chaos strike. Oh, no. He just oozes me. What? What? Get out of here, dude. All right. Well, at least we know he's playing Highlander. Get out of here, dude. Ooh, we can Lapidary next turn if we really wanted to, but I think we're just going to ante in. Here, let's do something like that. Do something like that. 
Let's bop him, mana burn him, so he can't play anything, and then we just safely ante in next turn. Okay. Okay. Shh, slur. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> Nobody else is supposed to find out that I'm rigging it for you. Okay, 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 okay. This curve, this curve, this curve. We got a six, into a seven, into a Lapidary Panthara Hero Power turn eight, into a Pit Commander turn nine. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, not randomly generated. Okay, good. I was like, is this a mere entity? But no, I don't think it's possible for this to be mere entity. E yes, this is happening. Six damage straight to the face. Um, it's probably, what, Counterspell or Flame Ward? I don't think they run Vaporize, Spellbender, Portal. Yeah. All right, so Anteon wakes up. Probably doesn't kill the Reno. It could, though, but probably not. Yeah, so it does not. I guess I don't really care too much about this Reno. Let's just go face. Okay, no ice barrier again. Okay, next turn we got the pit commander. Oh baby, oh baby. Actually, you know what? Maybe I don't do that because that does play into his coin uh, poof. Yeah, I think I think he's getting ready to poof. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That might be a poof. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is this is a poof for him for sure. This is definitely a poof. Nice, nice. Yeah, Highlander Mage. Yeah, Highlander Mage is actually making a comeback. I was, I was surprised. Wait, what? Do we have lethal? Uh, is this a flame ward? No, it's not a flame ward. Wait, what the heck does he have? What is that? What the heck is that? What's the gist? It is flame ward. Okay. Oh man. Oh, we almost have lethal here. Ah. Okay, we have lethal next turn though. We have lethal next turn. So let's just do a uh, pit commander, I guess. I mean, he could poof, but. We're still uh, still in pretty good shape here. Priestess, oh my gosh. Your turn. <laughs> he already is Zephyrus, he already is Reno. Uh, he has to have the other poof in order to survive here. Yeah, we just win, right? Oh, he freezes, okay. Man, he's, he's holding on by a thread. This is what, 10, 11, 12, 13. We might be able to get lethal here. Four, five. Yeah, let's uh, see if we get like a twin slice. Okay. Charge? Charge is lethal? I'm pretty sure this is just lethal either way, though. Or at least we're getting pretty dang close. Yeah, so two shots from Priestess need to go face, and then we have lethal. Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh, man! And look at that. We got our Void Hound, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man all right against um rogue actually this is not a bad hand here not a bad hand at all i'll keep do you know how to kill your opponent on turn six uh steel dancer stealth rogue oh i do it's steel dancer stealth rogue I suppose, yeah, if you get like a, what are the, the shelf, shelf sharpening sword. <laughs> so I don't mind doing this play. There we go, perfect. Now we go Hero Power Panthara into either a Fell Screamer or Marrow Slicer. You just gotta say it like Sean Connery. 
Hey, nice hero power. Yeah. Yeah, probably the Fell Screamers. So that way, whenever we top deck one of our big demons, we're ready to play it. I'm, I'm looking at this as like four mana deal eight. Um, so this is eventual damage. Um, but the longer the game goes on, the easier it is for him to kill the Fell Screamer. So let's get this guy down ASAP. Yep. Make him spend mana to deal with this, otherwise we get four damage into his face. Um, next turn we go Marrow Slicer, probably Hero Power, hit his face. Turn after, Lapidary Hero Power. Turn after that, Twin Slice, Twin Slice, Chaos Strike, dead. <laughs> is pronounced Shelf Sharpening Sword. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. Wow. I mean, at least he bumped four damage into that and, you know, not my face. Guess that's good, right? And they shouldn't run Ooze. Oh, baby, oh, baby. We got the seven mana Void Hound. Although, it's actually not that great against Rogue because I have Sap. So I'll probably go for the Pit Commander. Yeah, that's definitely better. Okay, oh, we're gonna Blade Dance this for sure. That is an easy Blade Dance. Or, 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 no, Blade Dance for sure. So I have four mana, I can Chaos Strike. Uh, this might be good against, like, an Edwin here, so let's save that. Smack him in the face for a ton of damage here. Yeah, next turn we have a 7-mana Pit Commander. Oh my gosh. Oh my... Actually, if he plays, like, a Stealth Minion here, we could kill it with the Void Hounds. <laughs> Oh, we could definitely, we could definitely kill it with the Void Hound. Kill, uh, kill Jandis and kill the Illusion. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Actually, no, I think Pit Commander is still just better. It gets us what, Antean or Priestess? Both are very good. Oh, this is, oh, this is dirty. Oh, this is dirty. Okay, maybe I go Void Hound here and hope he doesn't have a sap. I just have to pray he does not have a sap then. It wouldn't kill the illusion. Oh, it's right, because it doesn't damage it. It just steals it. Oh, you're right. Oh. Hmm. And these mana worms are actually really good against me, too. Um, okay, this is actually a good shard shatter, though. Yeah, we have to shard shatter this, unfortunately. Oh, man. I really, really, really want to do that, but... We got shard shatter into a raging fell screamer, so that's pretty good. Yeah, we're always doing this. Um, I could silence the worm. Actually, oh shoot, I probably should have done that first, huh? All right, we'll make this work. We'll make this work. I mean, a five mana pit commander, I guess I'll take that. <laughs> Just kill the worm now, yeah. I probably should have, because he casts a couple spells on it, makes some trades. But I mean, I have enough mana left over that I can like silence something and play the pit commander, so. Because maybe he's going to, like, overextend here trying to get his, like, Mana Worm buffed up, you know? Still has to worry about this. And a five-minute Void Hound. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I mean, actually, you know what? It's not that bad if I play it now. Because if he saps it, I'll have nine mana to replay it again right away. So maybe it's actually not going to be that bad. Yeah, you know, actually, actually, okay, I'm convinced. Maybe we even get like some more souls that we can do like a shard shatter with. Yeah, oh, blade dance. Okay, there we go. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> and if he does have a sap, I mean, okay, that is six damage too. Okay. So if he does have a sap, it's two mana less that he's developing. If he doesn't have the sap, we just win. So, I mean, it's it's his prog. It, it's, you know, it's his initiative to have that sap. I mean, we do have a taunt as well too. So, I mean, if he does sap this, we have a pretty safe pit commander. Or he can just replay the Void Hound again. Um, if we do get like a Soul Shear, we can maybe Soul Shear something. Uh, Lapidary Blade Dance. Oh, he doesn't have Sap! Wait. Oh, wait. We don't know what this card is. This card still might be Sap, though. But so far, he doesn't have Sap. Um, he did discover a spell. That might be Sap. No way. He doesn't have Sap here. Is he digging for it? <gasps> Do we just win? Oh my gosh, do we just win? Wait, 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 wait. We still have to kill this. We have a silence though for it. <gasps> oh my gosh, we just silenced this and we win. Uh, all right. No way! No freaking way! Whoa! What? 100% win rate with Big Demon Hunter? It's almost. We're 9 and 1. Hey, yeah, you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then hit that like button down below. And while you're there, hit the big red button or click here to subscribe to catch more off meta decks just like this. Stay funky.